Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? So, uh, do you nerd for Lego and Harry Potter stuff? And Wizarding Fantastic World Beasts. stuff. With the release of Crimes of Grindel Grindelwald, Grindelwald, how, yeah. how do you say that? Yeah, is he a Wald or a Wald? I guess it Are you the Wald or the Wald? I guess it just depends on what part of the country you're from. But uh, with that, with the release of Crimes of Grindelwald, Wald on DVD or home video or Blu-ray or whatever you want to call it these days, VHS tapes. Ooh, Betamax. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, let's get it on Betamax. Let's get it on Laserdisc. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we thought we would show off one of the more recent Lego builds that I've done. I've done quite a few little builds, but we've never really showed them off or anything like that. And so, which is a shame because they're so cool. I know they off. are so cool, but I think by the time I'm done with them, I'm, I love them, but my thumbs are killing me. <laughs> but anyway, I got the Fantastic Beasts um, Newt Scamander's suitcase. And this is a very cool set. It is very cool. It's very clever because, first of all, you build his suitcase. So you have this tiny little suitcase, but then it opens up and you have the inside the suitcase, which is super cool. And it comes with um, three creatures. It comes with an Arumpant, um, the Thunderbird, and um, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this one. Either Okami or Akami. It's named after the philosopher Occam for, you know, like with Occam's razor, but it's spelled exactly the same way except they add a Y at the end of it. <laughs> so I don't know if it's Okami, Akami. Anyway, it's a really cute snake bird thing that I love. So anyway, but it also comes with um, Newt, Jacob Kowalski, Tina Goldstein, and Queenie Goldstein. Which I like because I really like Queenie. Yes. She's awesome. We both kind of have a soft spot for Queenie. So, anyway, let me show you, because I already built it. Here's his little suitcase. So, isn't that so Isn't that clever? adorable? This is, these are the Lego sets that I really adore. The ones that have, uh, like, multiple forms. Yes. And the neat thing about this one is, I mean, there's a lot of detail on the outside alone. I mean, you know, you've got your hinges and everything, and, you know, the typical brass corner thingies. Right. I don't know what you call those little protector thingies. And then, of course, on the front, you have the clasps, and then you have the um, muggle-worthy lock <laughs> mechanism, and then you have the handle, and it actually, you know, goes back and forth. And then you've got an S for Mr. Scamander. So I thought, For no sprinkles! I, yeah, I don't like sprinkles. I agree with that. But anyway, I just thought that was, first of all, it's just adorable in and of itself, <laughs> you know. But let's uh, let's open her up and show you. So you open the top of the suitcase, and you can look inside there if you want to, or you can open it up more. And then this opens, and then there you go. See, I love that. So, like, it's all contained within the little briefcase-looking mm -hmm. thing, but then you open it up, and it's like a little Lego playset. Yeah, but see, like, this would be the ladder that he would climb down into, into his first little home area, and then, you know, you've got all the beasts' spots and whatnot. Hey, future Tom, do me a favor. Toss in that, uh, Kowalski giggle the first time he watches. I love that there. one! <laughs> but anyway, there's some really really neat stuff in here Woo! first and foremost inside his little house he's got um some gold bricks because it does come with a very very tiny niffler <laughs> look how little he is but anyway niffler's got to have some gold bricks to deal with and there's some like potiony stuff in there there's a picture of Lita lestrange or lestrange however you want to pronounce that she's a taker on the other side, you've got a sink to, you know, fill up your water pail dish. There's a cleaver to cut the meat. There's a brush to brush everybody. It even comes with, a, like, a little tiny uh, little meat. A little drumstick. little drumstick to give them. And then on the other side, you know, you've got, there's some grass all over the place. The other side, there's a little um, bush growing thing, some more coins and gold 
bricks because Niffler just keeps stealing everything. <laughs> there's a lovely little egg and it comes with a little pail and everything. But I mean, there's just a bunch of really, really neat, cute, detail-y things in this. And... You know, something that's really nice about this, too, is... Of course, you know, I keep going back to the fact that I love how it goes from a briefcase to, like, the little playset. But this is a really great display piece for two reasons. One, if you have it as the briefcase, of course, it's keeping all that dust out of, yeah. you know, the smaller bits and everything. And, and as the briefcase, it'd be a lot easier, you know, to, to run something over and dust it off. But if you wanted to display it like this, it gives you this nice open area yeah. to really set all of the people up and all of the animals, too. And, you know, I am, I have been having a hard time trying to decide how to display it, like, closed or open. But anyway, I thought I would show you. Here's little Miss Queenie. She's all happy. She, she's she got her happy face or her, <gasps> oh, no face. <laughs> and I always like that. I always, the first time I get any Lego figure, I always look to see if there's two faces. <laughs> so there's little Miss Queenie, and they all come with their um, wands, except for... Uh, Oh my gosh, that was exciting. Kowalski, of course, he comes with an umbrella. <laughs> but the neat thing with Kowalski is he's wearing that, um, like, baseball armor or whatever that, oh, that's right. that, uh, <laughs> that Newt gives him when they go fight the Arumpet. So you can take his little hair off, and then you turn his little face around, and he's got a kind of a scared face and a strap under his chin, and it comes with the football helmet. Nice. So... So I thought that's really cute, and but I like him with his little hair on. But anyway, so you can have his hair or his helmet. And then um, Tina comes with the teapot. Is that Mrs. Potts? No, it's not Mrs. Potts. Wrong. You're, you're, you're combining two with you. I thought it was a cameo. No, she comes with the teapot, and you can take the lid off and have her hold the lid if you want to, like from the scene when they catch the Akami. Oh, nice. Whatever inside the teapot. So that's why she... She's got her little teapot, and then Newt, he's, uh, you know, just, just chillaxing, and he does have a kind of a worried face and a, and a happy face. Does Tina? I'm pretty sure she, she does. She has an angry face. Of course. Tina's got a, like, a stern face. And then, like I said, of course, a teeny tiny little niffler. They're so super so, cute. So, now I see that Newt has his wand. Um, is that, like, some vegetation, some grass to feed I think them, it's probably, or... yeah. Is it supposed to be his little buddy? No, I don't think that's supposed to be a, a bow truckle. I think it's just food. Okay. I think it that's what I take it as because I think it's a little too big maybe to be a bow truckle. It, yeah, it kind of seems like it. But, and then here is the arumpet. And it's kind of neat because his little leggies move so you can, and his head moves from side to side and everything. Some great range of motion There's some there. really good range of motion. But, you know, I mean, that's that, that lovely, like, ball and socket. Thing and whatnot. So sometimes I like to have him sitting down, you know, <laughs> he just chillaxes or, you know, he can stand up. I like building animals. It's kind of fun to watch them come alive as you're building them because, you know, you always start off with the bricks and then, you know, when you're building a house, it's usually something square or whatever. Right. But when you're building an animal, you're like, okay, how are they going to get this? Yes, and then, that's then, true. Very then it just true. all comes together. And then here's the beautiful giant Thunderbird that saves the day at the end. But you can flap the wings. The back wings you can flap. You can move these. His feet move also. So you can move them up and down. And his talons close. Nice. And That's his, a nice touch. His head moves and so does his mouth. Um, um, um. Yeah. So he can be rars or happy. <laughs> so he can kind of hang out with you. He can hang out with you there. And then my favorite is the Aquami or Aquami or however you want to pronounce him. But he has a lot of range of motion. So the wings flap, his mouth opens and closes, and his head moves. But every single joint here oh, wow. actually moves. So you can kind of put him in any position. Which is perfect you want since him he's to be. Yeah, a since snake he's bird. a snake figure or whatever. So, yeah. Really cool. He's my favorite. He was my favorite in the movie, and he's my favorite of the of the things that I built. I was super excited to get to build him and everything. Well, so, this is a very cool set. They uh, they really put a lot of detail in everything from the case to yeah. the animals, you know, keeping stuff in mind, like the little Easter eggs with the picture and, and the grooming tools and stuff like that. But then also just the creatures and the characters, you know, giving yeah. them different expressions, of course, and the characters 
considering that these aren't typical animals. No. <laughs> you know, the arumpet would be about the closest thing, but everything else is a little more out there, so they really had mm -hmm. to, you know, pull it together for something new. Lego's really good about doing that, though. They're really good at capturing um, whatever they've turned into Lego. Very true. And their Lego has always been amazing at the attention to detail, which is, I always feel it's kind of hard because it's a brick. Right. You know, but they, they can do it. And, you know, I get fascinated when we go places and people have built other things out of Lego. You know, like when you see like a giant life-size Darth Vader built out of Lego, it's like, holy cow. I thought this was hard to build. <laughs> <laughs> well, nerdlings, we absolutely love getting comments from you. And I know that there are some awesome Lego fans out there. I know we've got some great Harry Potter and Fantastic Beast fans out there. So please let us know what you think about this and if you picked it up. Or uh, maybe you picked up one of the other sets. And if you watched our late, our uh, Valentine video, you'll know that he recently got me the uh, Hogwarts Express. Well, she so, was done with this I know, one, so I, was, I had, to, yeah. had to give her a new task so to build. I'm very excited to build that one, and maybe we'll show you that one once it's built. Well, be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We're always putting up new videos. Yes. As you see, you never know what you're going to get when you come here with the question nope. of do you nerd we are random and we love it let me there, there. Now get, the, get everyone on the case yeah. <laughs> all right nerdlings don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram for those closer upper pictures to let you know that a video has dropped because sometimes youtube is mean like that and to just know what we're doing out about in the real world because sometimes we do fun and crazy things and sometimes we watch movies sometimes we play video games sometimes we sit and stare at each other Anyway, nerdlings, <laughs> don't forget to uh, go over to Tee Public also and pick up some merch because we want to see what you've picked up and show us your out and about pictures in your merch. But anyway, nerdlings, we'll see you later. Thank you.